all. Really? Absolutely. And um, by the way, we've got another great guest right now, somebody who is a true superhero. You see him all the time, of course. He played Superman on Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Superman, and he's also a producer, writer, director, television host, and television star. And he also just became a reserve police officer in Idaho, as if this guy doesn't do enough. Joining us now, is there he is, the very handsome, great, my friend, Dean Kane. Dean, how are you? Hello, Rita. I'm great, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. I'm at the airport, if you wonder about my surroundings. I'm about to fly off, and I do fly in a plane. Um, <laughs> so I'm about to take off. Uh, but I really wanted to be a part of this and participate uh, because it's so, so important to our, our men and women serving overseas. I was actually in Iraq in 2005, and I saw a lot of personal things um, that were given to these guys and girls. And, you know, they put things up on the wall and stuff like that. It just means so much to them. So I, I am just honored to be here uh, and lend a little bit of a, uh, a voice. Not a voice like Charlie Daniels' voice, because I can't sing, but uh, <laughs> a little Rita. bit of a voice. I can't either. Did you see I tried to do Devil Went yeah. Down to Georgia? It was really bad, Dean. <laughs> and that's a talking song, Rita. That's a talking song. <laughs> you do so much, Dean, too, as you talk about you were in Iraq. Um, you also do the Memorial Day Parade this year, which I'm also a part of. And, and Dean, there is such a love affair, I think, you have with the military. Explain what you want to say, because so many folks, they don't realize that, and all of us here, we get it because we've been out there in the field, but some of these conditions are so tough that they're in. And as you point out, when they get these care packages, sometimes it's the only thing they get all year, and that's why it's so important for the folks listening to give, because it means so much. Oh, I, I can't put in words enough how important it is to these, these men and women to get something. It's a piece of home. And um, when you're that far overseas and you're in those dangerous conditions and, and your life is threatened every day at every moment, uh, whether you're, you know, in your bed uh, on base or wherever you happen to be, it's so dangerous. And, and your, your heightened senses, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a really dangerous place to be for these men and women. And they're there all the time. And then you get this little piece of home that tells you somebody's thinking about you, some individual practice, and they're sending it to you because we support you. I mean, I went out there to Iraq to support them. Go, look, I'm here to say I support you. Um, it's a lot easier to do it this way, and it means such a great deal to everybody. It is that piece of home, um, and you're sending it to them, and it, and it literally makes a difference in a day, a week, a year. You know, Dean Kane, I've been watching your career, not just on camera, but- She thinks you're very handsome, by I the did, way. I did, I told her earlier. <laughs> She's got good handsome. taste. Like <laughs> but no, what, yeah. you, what you do, not, not just with your acting and directing and producing career, it's what you are doing as a reserve police officer and some of these other things that most people don't know anything about. And the fact that you've been to Iraq touches my heart because it, it, you just don't see very many celebrities going uh, to Iraq or mm -hmm. Afghanistan to contribute. So thank you for that. I, I'm honored. Again, I, I watch these men and women who make such sacrifices. When I went to Iraq in 2005, my son was five years old. And I had seen so many uh, stories and instances of, of, of uh, service men and women who were, who were serving overseas where one parent was at home and the other parent was over in Iraq and they were missing their three kids and their three kids are missing them. And I thought, you know what? I can, I can miss my son for a few weeks yeah. and I can go out there. And I can I can do a little bit of uh, of sacrificing because these sacrifice these people sacrifice for us every day and it's awesome and that's the same reason that I became a reserve police officer. Is, you know I just I see these men and women especially nowadays where you know the thin blue line is under attack and um, you know it harkens back to days of you know our soldiers coming back from Vietnam and being spit on and called baby killers. These so these soldiers don't make policy. These, yep, these yeah. law enforcement You're right. don't make policy. They enforce they enforce the law. They fight the wars. So they are to be respected, I believe, tremendously respected. God and bless thanked. you. My grandfather, my grandfather was a commander in the Navy. My, my uncle was a lieutenant colonel in the Air Force. They helped raise me. They really affected my life. And, and it's out of my respect for them and their service that I'm, that I'm happy to serve just Dean, a little bit. We love you. Thank you, Dean Kane, And much more Truth in a moment.